A section of Shevlin Street near Harris blocked off right across the street from an elementary school. Damage done by Saturday's storm, too dangerous to risk kids walking through on their first day of school. Police say Ferndale has scenes like this throughout the city, and that along with the power outages has prompted school officials to push back the start of the school year. Along McDowell near Brickley, fallen trees left and right. Crews work quickly to clear the roads. Chris Alexander says she's been cleaning up for days. High winds tore off part of her fence and ripped off her hot tub top. We really got hit hard. We got hit harder this time than ever. Um, that fence panel over there, three of them in the back. Um, I've never seen posts just break like that. Alexander says she's fortunate, though. DT Energy tells us 1,500 people are without power there. Alexander is not one of them. Across the street, her neighbor, Camille Crispin, also has electricity, but has another problem on her hands. This tree fell right on her yard. And you were thinking, thank goodness, what? what? That it wasn't uh, on my house. Better the yard than my house. The task of clearing the roads and restoring electricity will continue. My son and I drove around the city to check out different areas, and I've seen trees rooted out of, out of the ground and stuff like that. And we're looking for the kids' safety, not, you know, just, you know, because of what happened. You know, it, kids are important. Meanwhile, school officials will decide today whether school will officially start tomorrow. In Ferndale, Tara Edwards, Channel 7 Action News.